Good morning. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Clifford Chu, and it's time for the easy news on ICRT. The TIEX opened up 33 points this morning from yesterday's close at 81.37 on turnover of 1.6 billion NT. The head of the Food and Drug Administration yesterday admitted the Ma administration was alerted to the importing of adulterated cooking oils in 2009 by Spanish officials. According to Ye Ming Kang, Spanish officials also warned the government that local companies were selling adulterated cooking oil again in 2011. The admission follows publication of an article by Next Magazine that government health authorities had information about the adulterated oil producers long before it became headline news, but failed to take any action. The Ministry of Natural Defense says it expects to complete delivery of 100 tons of relief supplies to typhoon-hit areas of the Philippines by today. According to defense officials, four Air Force C-130 transport planes delivered blankets, instant rice and noodles, tents and other supplies to the Philippines yesterday. Six more C-130 flights are scheduled to deliver more emergency supplies today. Transport Minister Ye Kuang Shi yesterday apologized over the death of eight people last weekend who died after being swept away by freak waves in the new Taipei City district of Gongliao. Speaking at a legislative hearing, Ye said he was apologizing to the public and the families of the victims for his failure as a supervisor. According to Ye, his office plans to submit a comprehensive report on improving safety at all of the island's scenic areas within two weeks. Eight people were killed and eight others injured by freak waves at Long Dong Cape last Saturday. Honorary KMP Chairman Lian Zhang was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award from the U.S.-China Policy Foundation in Washington, D.C. Tuesday. According to the foundation, the award for, was for Lian's long-standing contribution to the improvement of cross-strait relations. Lian visited China in 2005 when he met then-Chinese President Hu Jintao. The meeting ended with a five-point agreement. A U.K. plane carrying humanitarian aid has arrived in the Philippines to help with rescue efforts following Friday's devastating typhoon. Charity World Vision will distribute the aid. It's one of 14 U.K. organizations making up the Disasters Emergency Committee. Italian lawmakers say Premier Enrica Letta has assured them that as far as he knows, the privacy of Italian leaders and ordinary citizens has not been violated by the U.S. National Security Agency's surveillance work. Letta gave a closed-door briefing yesterday to Parliament's Commission on Intelligence and Security Matters. Lawmakers later told reporters that the Premier assured them that there have been no violations that he is aware of regarding private communications or data involving ordinary citizens and members of government. U.S. Laker Edward Edward Snowden revelations about the NSA's spying programs have sparked concern among politicians in countries from Latin America to Europe. That includes explosive allegations that the NSA had monitored German Chancellor Angela Merkel's cell phone. A study released yesterday by Bolivia's government says 58% of the country's coca crop is devoted to traditional uses, meaning the rest is processed into cocaine. The long-awaited European Union finance study said 31% of Bolivia's 10 million people consume coca, a mild stimulant used on religious rituals and chewed and taken in tea to fight off fatigue and altitude sickness. Bolivia is the world's number three coca producer, following Peru and Colombia. The United Nations says Bolivian government eradication efforts have diminished the size of the country's coca crop for two consecutive years. And now looking at the weather across Taiwan, according to the Central Weather Bureau, we can expect partly cloudy skies and occasional rain in the north with a high of 25 in Taipei, mostly clear skies in the center with a high of 28 in Taizong, and partly cloudy skies in the south with a high of 28 in Kaohsiung. Current temperatures are Taipei 23, Taizong 24, Kaohsiung 26.